Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shauna, and today we are going to show my fall coat collection. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're gonna get into today. I figured it would be a good idea to put like everything in one spot, like one video, meaning not one spot, one video. And this way, I don't plan on buying anything new for the rest of this fall season as far as like fall coats. So this may be just it. I don't think there'll be anything else here. This is fall, not winter. Um, so these coats will probably be for um, now, honestly. These are the coats I'm wearing now. All right, so first up is this Armani Exchange leather jacket. I got this jacket about like five, six years ago. It's a motorcycle jacket. This is the only leather jacket that I own, which is was mind boggling to me, but I don't buy leather too much because I just don't like the way it fits. It's really stiff and it's hard for me to find something that fits my shape really well. If you have like a nice hourglass shape, then yes, but if you're like slim, slight curve, then I'm sure you know how hard it is to find a leather that you love. Um, so I'm gonna link some similar because I know this is not available. I love the zipper on the sleeve. I love how this like zips up to like an angle here. The buttons are cute. It does button up, you know, here. This jacket is pretty high in the back. Um, I'm wearing high waist mom jeans, so that's why you're able to see like the top of the jeans. Otherwise the jeans will be like down here. So I always make sure I wear this. Why am I turning to the back? I always make sure I wear this with either high waist jeans, um, any like just cinched waist dresses. I try to make sure my waist is kind of like emphasized or you know highlighted whenever I wear this jacket. Otherwise I just don't like, I just wouldn't like it. So here we go. I will link similar jackets below because of course this one is no longer available. I told you I got it like five years ago, but you can see how long leather lasts. This jacket is in beautiful condition. I wear it every year. Every year I wear this jacket. I never not wear this jacket. I think that's good for the first one. And this is, you can wear this with anything. You know what I mean? To work, when I say with anything, I mean like work and weekend, you can wear this. You guys know about my Ula Johnson jacket. I don't even want to like, you know, highlight it too much because I couldn't find this jacket anywhere or anything similar for you to, you know, buy. So it is what it is. This is a corduroy jacket. I'll pop up a picture of me in this jacket. There's no need for me to like, you know, stand back and do a whole hoopla with it because I can't find it anywhere. And I've worn this jacket several times. I got this at an Ula Johnson sample sale. Pay attention to the sales. Next up, Desidual. And this jacket was gifted. I uh, went to an event they were having at the store and they allowed me to pick out a few things and I ended up getting this. It does come with a hood. I'm not wearing it right now, but I will pop up a picture of me wearing this jacket. This is a few years old. It's a collaboration that they did with Disney and i love the details on this jacket i love the way you are they have the mickey on the sleeve mickey here they have the nice patchwork here i mean this jacket the quality here is like amazing i love this here um it does have a lining that you can take out and even the inside lining is mickey this was a true collaboration with Disney, like really true collaboration. And you see the, the back, like I love this jacket. And I have thrown this on to work. I have thrown this on on the weekend. Disney, I mean, who doesn't love Disney, honestly? So next, this jacket was thrifted. I don't even know the name of it, but it's like a balloon kind of jacket. Ugh. I love that the sleeves come a little bit higher. Um, this jacket has shoulder pads, which I don't really think any of the other jackets have. I love the button here and the pockets. Beautiful jacket, really nice details in the sleeve. 
details in the collar, buttons. Let's see here, they must have just replaced this button because nothing looks like this, but I loved it. Thrifting sample sales, definitely a good way to get jackets that, or coats that you won't see everywhere because we know that there are coats that you see everywhere and then there's some that are very unique. That's why I always try to go to the thrift store once a season to kind of, at least once a season, I would say sometimes more, but at least once a season. Next up, I got this jacket from H&M. It's like a, kind of like a fake suede jacket. And oh, I love this jacket. I love this jacket. It was only available in the store. I wasn't able to find it online. It said in store only when I scanned it. So this is a nice, beautiful, like it just feels really, really smooth. And you can like, you know, just get a close look at it and see. It feels like a bathrobe, honestly. Okay, next up. My teddy. I love my teddy coat. You guys know that I love this coat. Ugh. I've worn it only out one time to vote. I haven't worn it any other time because the weather's just not that chilly yet for me to wear it. But I love it. It's from J. Crew. J. Crew is having a huge sale right now. They're probably gonna continue to have it beyond Black Friday because you know a lot of people are not going into the stores. So online would be the perfect way to get some good sales. Inside, beautiful. I mean, this is just super, super cute. Like the blue, the different shades of blue. Oh my God, it just looks so beautiful. So beautiful, I love the sleeves here. Can't go wrong with a teddy coat. You cannot go wrong with a teddy coat. Next, we're gonna get into the trench coats. This, I got from Rebecca Minkoff. I have not, worn this as much as I would love to have worn this. And I can't blame anyone but myself. This is like just a unique trench. I mean, the thing is, everybody's gonna be wearing, and I could button it up here, everybody's gonna be wearing trench coats. Everybody's gonna be wearing certain kinds of coats. I love just getting things that st still fit in with the trend, but just a little bit unique. So I love the back here. This coat is a little bit heavier than most trench. It's like a little, a little stiffer, but I love this jacket. I was really into like fitted, fitted, fitted coats last year. And this year I kind of started to get a little bit looser. So this was Rebecca Minkoff. This coat, Mark, New York. I got this coat for $20. So that's why I bought it. I really did not need another trench coat, but it was $20, so I was just like, you know what? Let me get it. So I ended up getting this. A belt, I purchased two. I ended up getting one for me and one for my sister. Um, what I loved about this one specifically is the detail on the sleeves. You can see here. And it has the same detail on the pocket. I'll show you the pocket here. Um, and it has a hood. And you see the details on the shoulders. So this I got for probably like $20, $25. This was from Macy's Backstage. I don't know if you've ever heard of Macy's Backstage. I don't even know if they still have it. But it's like, you know, just like, I don't know, things that didn't sell or whatever at Macy's. This jacket is very smooth, um, feels really good. And love the little details here. I mean, $20? I bought two. That's why I bought two. Got my sister one. Um, okay. Moving along. Burberry. This was a thrifted jacket. I do not know how much it was because my aunt got it for me. I love this nice little chain detail here. This came with a lining, I think, but I don't have the lining to this. So... But honestly, Burberry coats are so like just it, when you see them in the thrift store, we just get them. Like that's just, that's how my, my aunt, my great aunt raised us. She was like, oh, you think I'm a shopper? Oh, she was a huge shopper. So this is nice. Uh, we got this, I got this one from her because it's black. 
and I have two other Burberry trenches but they are khaki so I figured this was a nice like you know black one nice Burberry coats last so long quality everything's really like you cannot beat these coats honestly you really can't so love them this is why it's important to pull everything out because I probably wouldn't have worn this coat at all if I didn't pull it out another trench ish Philip Lim. Uh, this coat is another like stiff coat, but this coat is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. I got this coat at Neiman Marcus. Um, and I love it. I love, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is very unique. Very unique. And like I said, this is like in with the trend but just something super unique like the lines the shoulders the back the graph the belt everything and it actually i want to do a split screen and lower it down but it actually like splits on the side it has a belt on the side like this coat is show stopping show stopping and take a look at the inside this is blue so we have blue here, the khaki, we have black on the back, we have the sides, like this coat is just, whoo. I got this coat from net porte This is another trench coat, but again, a little bit different. So the buttons you'll see here, nice gold buttons, which I don't see too often. Gold, usually brown or white or black. Um, but the buttons are here, the buttons on the sleeve, or the buckles on the sleeve, sorry. Buckles on the sleeve, which I thought was pretty cute. And the color. I mean, this was the main reason I got this, was because of the color. I waited until this jacket went on sale. I did not pay full price. I think I paid $99 or 150 I'm not sure. But I did wait until this went on sale. I love the length. It's slightly longer than the other trench coats usually they come above the knee and this comes like below the knee so i do like it for that reason and this color it's like a forest green kind of denim so i thought that would be like again really unique this is my helmet lang i'm saying it right helmet lang coat so it's like a silk coat this is oh, my lord i mean this coat is fabulous 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 the quality of this coat is i mean just whoo, whoo, oh my gosh the quality of this coat is amazing 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 color is like a really really deep green i will pop up pictures and things like that you know as i can but the color is like a nice green I, oh God, it's nothing I could say about this coat. I got this from Neiman and let me tell you, if you want to feel like you are going outside in silk sheets, this is what this coat feels like. Like I'm actually outside in silk sheets. This, um, I don't know if I want to pull this out yet. This is another Burberry coat. I thrifted it. I just picked it up from the cleaners because you know, when I like get items from the thrift store, I you know try to wash them really good. And if it's something like this, I had to take to the cleaners. So, so if you live in New York City, I'm sure you know about Bridge Street Cleaners. Their cleaners is fantastic. The service is amazing. The clothes really look like you just got them out of the store when you pick them up. And I brought this coat there to be cleaned. I think it came out to $122 to clean the entire coat. Lining, all the pieces that came off because like the collar comes off, the inside comes out. Like this was like a huge coat to clean. Like a really good project, but they did an amazing job. They did an amazing job. This is thrifted. I got this coat for $200 at the thrift store. $200. It was a It was originally 400 but then they had a um, sale. They 
like had a sale. I don't even want to button it too tight and like get a wrinkle. But then they had like a sale. So this is a huge size. But again, it's a nice oversized coat. I love just the quality of a Burberry coat. Really do. I'm not tying it too tight, but you can see the inside. The pockets in the lining. They did an amazing job with cleaning this. An amazing job. Let me, you know, even this collar. Like, look at this. Button this up here if you want. And then have the collar out. Yeah, this is like, ugh. All the buttons, everything was here. Nice pockets. I mean, the quality. This was a really good buy. A really good buy, honestly. Because Burberry's, they just, they, you, you can always resell these. You can always resell these. So don't ever, don't ever worry about like, oh, do I need another one? If you can always bring these to the thrift store and get them off your hands. You can sell them on Poshmark. You can sell them on eBay. Like Burberry's are just classic, classic coats. Um, speaking of Burberry, I have one more. Okay, this one I got from the outlet. I think I paid around $400 for this one. I, I mean, you can see they're all the same brand, but they're different. Like you see, this one has the quilted inside. This is a little bit heavier than the rest. And this has, I love that this had the Burberry on the collar behind. The hood is one that you can put on and off. And this is short. So that other one is a longer one. This is a shorter one. They're all like, you know, different lengths. And... Here we go, another one, another one. So, and the hood, nice little hood here. Not putting it on, but um, you can see. So different color, this is like a light khaki. Um, definitely heavy, heavier. And you can see at the bottom here. So that's that. If you don't own a fatigue jacket, I mean, you could never go wrong with a fatigue jacket. So I have this, I rolled the sleeves up a little bit, but this is just something that I throw on um, when I wanna like do like a little mixed printish kind of thing, I throw this on. This has a hood, you can tuck the hood in. This is from Ralph Lauren, so pretty old I've had this for a long time um, love the quality of this really nice heavy and it's like that rugged kind of material like you see the paint splatters on it and okay guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I hope you found it helpful I found it helpful just pulling everything out just seeing what I have seeing what's similar seeing the differences between you know trench coats and seeing what I may have too much of and seeing what I may not have enough of. So I hope that you guys found it helpful. And when shopping for coats, I would think that even though you want a trench coat, just try to focus on finding a trench coat with a different style or a trench coat with a little bit of a twist. That way you're not blending in with everyone else and you're standing out. And definitely pay attention to the sleeves, the length, the details. Um, that's not something that I thought about when I purchased these coats. It wasn't until I looked at them at a whole that I see, oh, this one comes below the knee, this one comes above the knee, this one has these type of pockets, this one has doesn't, this one is a light, this one is a darker. So always, you know, put a lot of effort into buying the coat and then keep in the back of your head the coats that you already have that are similar. I will see you guys next time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. I am on Instagram, Simply Shauna. Please follow me if you want to get more um, fashion or know a little bit more about me or whatever. And I will see you guys next time. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.